so you can check out the experience on your own. But syempre, Metro Manila is full of so many great restaurants that showcase not just Filipino food, but a variety of food. And of course, we're not going to leave Travel Cafe Philippines, but actually, my partner na si Steph, but tumungo muna ng Banawe to check out other great foodie places. And this one's called Uncle Ronnie's Pub. Of course, from something like this, a travel destination, let's go to a sports venue that offer that also offers great food. So Steph, what do you have in Uncle Ronnie's Pub? And sorry to rush out on you like that. Shampre work. Anyway, mga kaibigan, nandito po ako ngayon kay Uncle Ronnie's Pub in Quezon City. Pinag-uusapan na rin po natin yung pagkaing Pinoy. And what's more Pinoy than pulutan? And where else to get the best pulutan this side of the metro? Well, nowhere else but right here at Uncle Ronnie's Pub in Quezon City. And with me right now is Mr. Uncle Ronnie himself, Mr. Ronnie de Guzman. Good morning. Good morning. Magandang maga po sa inyo lahat. Okay, Uncle Ronnie, your pub is quite unique. Dahil nakikita ko ngayon, ang dami mga sports memorabilia. There are caps, posters, tickets. Ano ba ang concept behind the pub? Uh, the pub actually is a sports music bar na that caters to to all the sports fans that, that would like to watch sporting events. We've hosted different uh, uh, viewing parties dito sa pub. Uh, the NFL, the NBA, the PBA playoffs. We've had people here uh, eating our pulutan. And I heard this masarap. And later on, we will be doing a demo on that. But before that, let's talk about your pub uh, more. You said it's a sports bar. Bakit sports bar, right? Dito sa, dito sa Philippines, dito sa Manila, parang, well, when you go to a bar, it's like inuman and then eat and, you know, be happy. But dito, but parang ang daming, parang sports. Do you love sports? Yes, I do. Cause I, I just came back from the States. Uh, I was there for 30 years. I left in 77. I came back last year. I'm a big uh, San Francisco Giant fan uh, coming from the Bay Area. Uh, and then what I did was the concept that I did in the Philippines. And pagka nandito sa pub, I want people to be talking about sports. And when we were talking off cam kanina, may sinasabi si Uncle Ronnie na when you are at the pub, at Uncle Ronnie's pub, dapat wala kang problema or dapat nawawala ang problema mo dahil masaya dito. Can you tell us more about your nightly entertainment, about all the happenings right here, like mga viewing parties? We have viewing parties here, as, as I said, from, from the NFL football to the NBA. We have uh, nightly entertainers from Mondays to Fridays. We have acoustic music with a different genre, different uh, type of music na ginagawa nila. Um, on Mondays, I have a solo performer. Same thing with Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, on, on Thursdays and Fridays, we have a duo that comes and performs here. So talagang masaya po dito. Dito lang yan sa The Pub. Or Uncle Ronnie's Pub. Nakakalimutan ko yung lagi. Uncle Ronnie's Pub. And all of the people na clients mo, they call you uncle. So it's like a big family place. Yes, it is. Uh, ang, ang number one clientele ko dito is the people from the hospital, which is the orthopedic hospital, which is where... Uncle Ronnie's pub is close to. By the way, we are close to Quezon, Quezon Boulevard and uh, Del Monte. It's kind of in between and Biak na Bato and, uh, and Banawe. But the med reps, the people that sells drugs, the uh, drugs? the people that sells medicines, and uh, the, the doctors from the orthopedic as well as students who are sports fans come and have a drink here and, and it's a gathering place. But they're not the only one who visits the pub. Dinig ko, meron tayong mga celebrities dito na pumunta na. We've had a few celebrities that came here. Yung singer ng Aegis was here. The singer of Salbacuta was here. Tonton Gutierrez was just here a couple days ago attending a birthday party uh, for one of his comrades. And you also uh, host uh, sportscasters, right? Yes, we've hosted uh, the people from the different networks, uh, from the PBA, from the... Uh, um, people from the poker tournament, billiard tournaments, their announcers, uh, sports uh, sports celebrities have also come here. 
Wow, ang galing ah. Siguro tatambay kami dito one time para makakita kami ng celebrity. Anyway, since it's Thursday, syempre pag Thursday sa Shika, puro pagkain ang pinag-uusapan. At hindi magpapahuli ang Uncle Ronnie's Pub. Ano bang mga specialties mo dito? Ang um, Actually, ang, gina, ang, ang, pinakamabili, ang bestseller namin dito is the uh, Tokot Paboy and the Deli Atayatayan, which is the chicken livers and gizzards na, na binoil and then inadobo. Uh, favorite ng mga doktor yan for some reason. The nachos, the loaded nachos with the ground beef and the, the jalapeno peppers is also a, a favorite here in the pub. How did you come about the food? Uh, were they your special recipes? Uh, or nag-research ka para, you know, to, to have the, the, a menu na fit for a sports bar? Well, um, my cook is very good and he's actually the one that has been going out and, and scouting different uh, pulutans. Uh, across the metro and we've come up with the deli atayatayan which is that chicken liver and gizzards we've come up with the uh, quesadilla which is my favorite in the states um, we've come up with the chicken wings with our own spices our own blend yeah it, it's something for everybody to try Okay, so sabi ko nga kanina, we're gonna do one, or magde-demo po tayo um, sa isang uh, pulutan, special pulutan ni Uncle Ronnie. And of course, syempre, pag nagdemo tayo, tuturoan tayo ni Uncle Ronnie on how to make this special pulutan. So let's go and uh, samahan niyo kami sa kitchen. Okay, nandito tayo ngayon sa kitchen ni Uncle Ronnie. But since Uncle Ronnie ay maraming customers sa labas, tinuruan na lang niya ako kung paano gawin ang kanyang special quesadilla. Okay, so what we need is a tortilla. Tortilla. Okay, yan. Nabibili ito sa mga grocery stores. Yan. Iinitin lang natin. And then, nilagyan natin ng konting cheese. Or kung gusto nyo, maraming cheese. Papamelt lang natin yung cheese para masarap. Actually, if you want, you can use mozzarella or any kind of, any kind of cheese that you would prefer. Pero ito, quick melt lang. And then, we put garlic powder. Para may lasang garlic. Or you can also put real garlic na fried para masarap. And then, we put our peppers and onions. Yan. Yan lang po padali. And then, we put the ground pork that we cooked earlier. Medyo ginawa ko siyang crunchy para magpag-bite na, pag-bite niyo sa quesadilla, meron ko yung crunch na marinig. Ganun. Punuin lang po natin yung isang tortilla piece. Okay. And then what we do, we get another tortilla. Ayan. And papatong lang po natin ito. And then, mamash lang natin na ganyan para dumikit. Siya. And then, we flip it over para naman yung isang tortilla ay maging brown din tulad ng this one. Inaantay lang natin. Ayan. Dumidikit na yung cheese. Pag dumikit na yung cheese, yan na yung sign na pwede na siyang tanggalin. Actually, you have to work with your hands kasi yung hirap na tanggalin na um, ng sandok. Okay. Turn off the heat. Lilipat lang natin sa plate. And what we do is so slice lang natin na parang pizza. Okay, so there you have it, Uncle Ronnie's special quesadilla. Pero gagawin natin, magbigay din tayo ng konting presentation. Pero syempre, maganda sa mga uh, clients or mga customers. So ipapay lang natin yung tortilla. Ayan. And then, we add toasted garlic on top. And then, konting yung peppers kanina. Parang may konting yung color. And then, sagyan natin ng sa taas. Spread lang natin yung cheese. 
Ito na po ang Uncle Ronnie's Special Quesadilla. More food when Chica returns. Thank <laughs> you.